I'm leaving. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Hmm. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Interesting. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Dad? Maxine, Pop here. I'm so proud of you. Uh, I haven't gotten in... I'm uh, sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud for you saving that girl as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever commanded we do. It makes us proud uh, to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now and relax maybe go to a high school around here the door is wide open uh thanks pop it's been a whirlwind here i'm not ready to come home yet uh talk later max so max so so that's cute so i guess i'm gonna have to talk to him and get his key how are you doing good morning how are the fish today don't ask first the snow then an eclipse <laughs> what's next the tornado what's next the tornado I hope not. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Yeah. It's kind of sad. <laughs> Is Joyce in here? Or she Good off? Lord, Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from. Uh. I managed to get some tickets! I had to find a dozen bullies. Huh? Freaking nerds. Right. <laughs> He's funny. Spill his drink. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Did I really just? I am such a crazy person. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> hmm. So neither one of those worked. Just talk to him. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Wait, is Nathan in here? 
Whoa. Rachel. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. <laughs> oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Uh. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. I don't want him to know that I talked to him at all. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. That boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. And he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Hmm. Now, I'm weird, I guess, but I like to kind of have leave no evidence behind. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <clears throat> hmm. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Now, this is where I should spill his beans. Lol, you eat like a beans. pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking it? This is where he trips. Aww, I thought I could uh, grab the keys. Hmm. I know that I'm better off with him having the keys out. But I'm gonna go back before he takes him out. I can always do that choice again if I want to. Okay, so that's not what I want to do. You're a weird. Oh no, you're not. Okay, I thought you were weird. <laughs> it was just the weird way it was pointing Rachel. at me. Rachel, uh, whatever. Your father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you, and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father, or me. Nobody here does. Hmm. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. 
I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? I did kind of my face. Piss off both these people. <laughs> so they're not really <laughs> They're not really wanting to help me. <laughs> Kate Marsh. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. And come on, go back more. Um, structure seals like Listen, awesome. Nathan, I'll take back everything I said about you if you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. Ooh. You'll hook your ass up. Interesting. Well, I never spoke to you. <laughs> Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. <laughs> Let's talk to the cop. All right. So that seems to be the best Good. thing. Thanks, officer. I'm glad. All right. So can I say anything about the higher education to him? All right, okay, no. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over <laughs> Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What was that about? Oh. What no? Uh. Come on, go. So that that can be something to talk to Frank about? <clears throat> I guess it didn't. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. <sighs> but. But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. Huh. It didn't give me anything. Maybe it's something new to talk to that cop about. Yeah. I can bring that up with him now. Fish. Thanks, officer. I'm. Um, Prescott deal. Well, Perfect. I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever <laughs> shut up? <laughs> I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Can I question him about that again? Thanks. I'm glad. Well, I heard a. Jeez. Okay, so no. Look. All 
right. Well, all right. I want to talk to the cop about everything. All right. <laughs> Let's get um, it out of the way. All right. Uh, David Madsen. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Yep. What can I do for you, Max? Uh, Kate Marsh? I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Hmm. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go way back. Oh, I didn't mean to go that far back. Oh, now I never talked to the fisherman. Oh well. Rach. Prescott feel. Yes. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Oh, guess who you never talked to? <laughs> Sorry, I love doing this. <laughs> yeah! Wait, what? What? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Weird. I just talked about a blood oath. Do I need to talk... Oh! Wait, do I need to talk to... Okay, either Nathan, I need a goodness. There's a lot of back and forth here. Blood oath. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna just find out if I need to bring that up with him again. Well, actually, I probably... Probably not. Alright, let me... Alright, I'm gonna try him again. Sorry, I'm gonna... Frank, one more time. Aha. Uh -huh. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just the natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. Uh, okay. So, this isn't gonna work. The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Guess who never spoke to you? <laughs> he 
brought. Now back to Chloe. And actually, just to be safe, 